we're in autumn here. It's a beautiful time of year. It won't be too long though before winter's here. So I think now is a good time to install the wood-fired stove. It's a tiny bit complicated to install because where the chimney goes up, there are metal ribs inside the bus, so we need to avoid those. And on top of that, we've got the bus roof, which has rafters and purlins running down it, which I'd also, I also need to avoid those as well. So it's a slightly complicated thing to in install, but it shouldn't be too bad. That was just a little test hole. I drilled that all the way through the bus, through the insulation and the wood, just so I can see for sure where that um, circle's gonna line up inside and it does all line up correctly, so I'm all good. So now I'm just gonna cut this out. This 
flue kit is actually designed for a flat roof. So I'm having to modify it to work within the curve of the bus. It's not the ideal thing for the job, but um, I think I can make it work. So I'm just cutting around the circumference here just to make this a little bit wider so that I can then bend this black plate in and hopefully get it to sit flush or at least close to flush in the roof. I think my plan here was right in theory. Uh, this is still too tight. I can just see that if I push this anymore, it's so tight on here, it's just gonna tear all the, the paint off this. And the whole point of this is to look somewhat smarter. So um, yeah, I don't wanna do that. I think I'm gonna take it apart, cut the whole of it bigger, and then see if I can push it up. Right, I've hacked away a bit at this now just to make the uh, make the hole bigger and now that's going to work when I bend the sheet to fit the roof. So um, all I need to do now is put it all back together. Really happy with this stove. One of the great things about it, it's got these sort of double, I think they're called baffles, the metal things around the edge to keep the heat away from the back. So it means, you know, it's designed specifically for small places like tiny houses and buses and stuff. So you can get it really close to that back wall and then don't need to, uh, you don't need to put any protection on the wall. That's just wood on the back, um, but it's perfectly safe. And then this as well, you know, it's got protection around here. So there's the flue pipe in the center. This has got air holes just to help cool this and again that's pretty close to the glass but um shouldn't be any problems with it but um yeah great little stove and uh, should keep us warm for the winter before we bought this land it was being used as a campsite and hence the picnic table here under the shelter as soon as we moved onto the land, we ended up using this as, as our kitchen and it's been OK. But um, the main problem with it is because it's got these um, seats, you always have to sort of you're leaning over the seats in order to get to the table, which makes it really hard to kind of prep food or cook or things like that. It's just not really fit for purpose. So I'm going to spend the next few hours just giving it a bit of a tidy up and I think I'll remove this bench seat. I imagine it's concreted into the floor. I don't know. It might not be. But I'll try and dig this out and then that will give us better access to this and then that can be more like a kitchen work surface rather than just a, a picnic table. That'll uh, keep me busy for the next few hours, I think. Digging's hot work. That's already starting to make a lot more sense. Got a little bench here to sit on and look out at the veggie garden. That's cool. And this area behind me here, I'm 
raking it flat. Maybe I'll chuck some wood chips on it just so it's a bit nicer to walk on. And that gives a nice little kitchen area. Not done a huge amount yet, but already I feel like this is good. This is going in the it's going in the right direction, this one. It's definitely better than it was. It's a lot easier to use now. Just a bit more functional and having the wood chip on the ground is really nice. It means you can walk around on bare feet. That, that soil beneath there was, uh, whatever it was, was really dirty. So yeah, that wood chip's a big improvement. <laughs> 